Well, in the midst of this pandemic and as we see COVID numbers rise all over the country, two unauthorized parties over the weekend got the attention of both city authorities and Governor Cuomo. A rave took place under the Kosciuszko Bridge in Brooklyn just as a party boat captain and its owners were arrested for defying social distancing guidelines in lower Manhattan. I would news reporter Lauren Glassberg has a story. Who wouldn't want to be out on the water during the hot summer? But when the Liberty Bell cruised the East River Saturday evening, authorities say it was packed with passengers violating social distancing provisions and it had an unlicensed bar. The captain and the boat owners were arrested after docking at Pier 36 in Manhattan. How a charter boat could put together a crowd uh, on deck and leave, it's just, it's disrespectful, it's illegal. Uh, it is, it not only violates public health, it violates common decency. Across the way into Brooklyn, another party, this one underneath the Kosciuszko Bridge, a rave with hundreds of people and a DJ. Today, workers nearby not entirely surprised. It's all empty at night usually, so that's the only thing I could say. They're young and they want to have a good time, and they think they're invincible. And while this area under the bridge is kind of inviting with newly planted trees and landscaping. It was never intended for large gatherings, especially during a pandemic. And technically, it's not even open to the public. The gate is now chained and locked and no trespassing signs are posted. And while there are no reports of outbreaks from any large group gatherings in the city, city leaders want New Yorkers to avoid them or face the consequences. Whenever we find something where people are not distancing properly, not using face coverings, gathering in too large numbers, whatever it may be, uh, the sheriff's office has done an amazing job intervening, as have other agencies. So job one is find those things, stop them. Both of these weekend parties had possibly hoped to go undetected. Lauren Glassberg, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.